Hello. I'm gonna be doing Prime again. Because we were really close to beating it. And I kind of want to get it out of the way. <laughs> the last time every possible technical issue went wrong. That wasn't good. Not at all. My throat just made a weird noise, I hope. Didn't pick up. So just checking. Checking. Incoming scan data. Yes, I know. I was just there. So is the audio syncing up? Last time we had a problem because of the stream the source mirror. I'm not using that this time. <laughs> yeah, it turns out it was very obvious that it would do that. But I don't have reading comprehension. And I appreciate being able to mirror it without any uh, performance hit. Sorry, I said that weird. I'm listening to my own voice. But, uh, I don't know. I have a very bad experience with delay. I don't want to go back to the days of the Hapauj. And yeah, I'm gonna have to fix the VOD. <laughs> Repair a few problems. Oh, it's Ribble. Again. Oh, also, I thought the audio was playing twice before, but it turns out no. Despite the fact it looked like OBS was picking it up, it, it wasn't. So at least that was all right, I guess. Okay, let's let's try this again. You know what, for this, for this fight, I might turn on, uh, I might turn off lock on free aim. Might be making this fight harder than it needs to be. Like, most of the time I'm all for it, but Ridley kind of uh, kicked my butt last time. Well, not till like the last phase. The 75% damage trick. Hmm. I do not know about that trick. You may have to, you may have to tell me about that one. serving missiles for the time being. The original GCN release, if you use the boost ball to hit Ridley when he lands, you instantly take away 75% of his health. 
Oh my god. I was not aware of that. Alright, you booger. Let's see, can I hit him with a soup? Yes. It's so weirdly specific, it makes me wonder if it's a dev cheat that the that they left in for testing. Honestly, it could be. I've heard stranger. Like, reminds me of uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, where they left in the, uh, the triggers to just auto-beat some of the bosses. I mean, they put them very much out of the way, but they underestimated how much the players would be able to get out of bounds. Oh, oh, okay, my... Sa oh, Samus, stop giving me the stanky arm. I love the Wii sensor bar. Honestly, I'm probably going to accidentally leave one in one of my games. Very high possibility. Okay, even without free aim, it's pretty hard to hit him when he's flying around. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm probably going to leave some in on purpose. Like, just for, you know, further debugging. But I mean, I hope it's not the sort where it's just like... You, you go to this corner of the room and you win the game. fight kind of takes a while which is why it's it's kind of good to be starting off a stream with it yeah I'm not I'm not hitting Jack with this oh yeah it's a good remix it was so good that they put it in Supper Smash 4 Come on. Come on, take damage. Ow. Ow! Was there two waves of that? Okay, I guess there's two waves of that. No, no, no. Oh, now he's doing the double. I forgot about the daily double. Ow. This would be easier to dodge in 2D. I got it. 
I got it that time. Oh yeah, you could play as uh I forgot Meta Ridley was a costume. To be honest, I hate to say it, but Ridley's one of those characters where like like I always say, in Smash Brothers there's two layers to every character. There's I like this character because of who they are, and I like this character because of what they play like. And unfortunately, I, I feel like Ridley is the former and not a ton of the latter. That being said, K. Rule is both, so I'm very happy about that. Maybe I should be using my soups. Can you catch him? With that, with not a lot of prime influence. Yeah, and I guess I'm all right with that. I mean, it's not like I can say, oh, they're, they ignored Prime, because we got a whole stage and a whole bunch of songs. And yeah, and also Dark Samus, so I can't, I can't be too salty about that. I mean, unlike with Wario Land, where there's like one song. Please, sir, can I have some more? It's not even a great Wario Land song. I mean, I like it. It's maybe not my favorite in the series, but it's cool, I guess. I just want some more. <laughs> Wario's rep is very, very centered around WarioWare. And I mean, I don't want anybody to think I don't like WarioWare. WarioWare is awesome. Even if I'm not like super crazy about their new art style. But whatever. That's not why I play WarioWare, we all know that. Yeah, Greenhorn's basically Wario's theme music, so it's really weird that it's not in the game. I don't know. I, I talk about Smash way too much. Like, like that's what a lot of conversations on my stream devolve into, isn't it? Okay, so now time for this part. This is the part that keeps messing me up. How did that not hit me? So will it go better this time? I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, of course we will. Like, you know, like my, like my stream intro said, do or do not, there is no try. Well, actually, I didn't finish the quote. But you got the idea, I'm sure. Ow. Classic make a shockwave move. The old clothesline move. Yeah. 
Ridley's definitely a bit more particular in Prime than he is in Metroid, the second one it, of the dimensions. Yeah, this meta armor, I don't know. He might he might do good to just leave it on. I mean, spoilers, he doesn't, but... I really hope he doesn't appear in Dread. You know he will. You know he's gonna be all over that. Ow. Ow. It's gonna be... It's, it'll be like a hologram Ridley. I don't know. It'll be like replica Ridley. Imitation Ridley. Stop doing this move. Okay, jump out of the way much earlier than that. Okay, mash the bouton. Yeah, it gets really hard to dodge this attack after a while, I feel like. I especially love when he does it like eight times in a row. That's my favorite. I mean, granted, if I was him, I would do it too. Clearly effective. Oh. You gotta do it at just the right just the right moment like right there right there oh and i keep messing it up which is probably what killed me last time oh we we're but we're almost there he has but he has but a sliver remaining There, he clearly touched me, but I didn't take damage, so I will accept that. The game being stupid is all right if it's in my favor. The Wii, the Wii remote's kind of making my hand cramp up in this fight. Okay, again, his arm touched me, but it didn't mean a thing. Dang it, we, dang it, we motion bar, we sensor bar. Yeah, if anyone forgot, I'm playing this under my desk, which is not how Nintendo wanted you to play the game. No, this isn't how you play the game. I played it before by pointing the Wii U gamepad on its side. You know, thinking about it, instead of buying like a cheap sensor bar to put under my desk. Ah, uh, no! 
I, I probably could have just used the Wii U gamepad in Wii mode or something. I don't think I thought of that. Maybe I just couldn't figure out a way to prop it up. I'm surprised I dodged that, considering he was three feet from my face. Ow. And I didn't dodge that. Okay, I think my odds are, are generally better this time. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Yes, get him! Gingenator his butt. Okay, and now I am, of course, if the game allows me, going to go back and say, "Is my grandpa?" There's a save point right through the portal. All right. Uh, let me turn free aim back on, probably. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad idea. I'm still going to do it, though. Okay, into the portal. Impact crater. All right, the actual final area. All oh, right, right here. Right you were. All right, please give me the juice. I remember this area scaring the crud out of me when I first played it. I mean, why wouldn't it? It's all squishy and weird. Door cannot be open with that weapon. Just in case you somehow got here without getting this. Limited data on unknown material available. Material is highly radioactive. You will take damage from direct contact. Mutagenic qualities at least 86% greater than Phazon. Unshielded bi bioforms below index level P will suffer fatality within moments. Lumagek, Phazon charged reptiles, natives of Talon 4, the Lumageks travel in swarms to increase their odds of survival. They absorb and radiate Phazon energy, making these swarms a threat. Okay, so don't want to let those guys hang around me. So. What does one do here? Do I just do I just double jump? Yeah, that about makes it. Yeah, I remember why this place scared me. Oh, fission fission metroids. And he's going to split. No, please die. And you get gross noises as per Metroid tradition. It, it might be a valid strategy to just book it. Oh, there's like, there's like bone in here. Oh, 
and here's another save point. Oh no, wait, this is a missile point. Good. Yeah, you need all of that you can get. And cool. I mean, ew. Ew. So where do I go from here? I guess over this way. gonna use power bombs as, as long as I got them. Open the door. I got to get through the door. Ah. Ooh, it's like, it's like organic rail track. Man, Metroid sure knows how to make the final area just nasty as all hell. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'm alright. And there she is. There she is. they've been telling us about the whole game. Okay, scan. Oh, burrow. Go after her. Morphology, Metroid Prime. Highly evolved, Phazon producing life form. The aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra frigid breath, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed carapace make it lethal in melee combat. Recommended maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. Okay, actually, I take it back. Lock on. Give me that freaking lock on. I'm gonna need it in this fight. Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna take cover. Okay, what now? Okay, purple. Unlimited power. All right, chase it. Oh, laser. Oh, more laser. Okay, purple. No, I didn't switch. I didn't switch to purple. Okay, what now? Ice. It went out that way. Oh, oh, tractor beam. Tractor beam. What do I do? Red.
Get in the hole. Get in the ditch. Get in the ditch, Bobby. Okay, ice. Lol, flamethrower. I'm guessing flamethrower is not considered particularly good. It's a bit of a meme. Oh. Oh, I'm out. Well, I'm out of missiles. Oh, I'm out of vision. Get in the ditch. Get in the ditch. Glad I got 300 energy tanks. <laughs> oh, no, she she ran away. Whoop, scoop. I do appreciate that the the beams are the same color as the weapon. That's that's neat. No, get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh, no. She's doing it again. I didn't realize. Okay, red. No, ice. No, stop, Stin. Stop. Stop with the spear. No, no, no. No. No, spear, be gone. Uh, spear hit me in the, the butt. Oh no, my weapons. I need my weapons. I need those to kill. Spears for fears. Oh, ice. Our shots don't want to hit as often. Okay, get in a, get in a hole. Shooting my charge shots back at me. It feels like I, I I feel like I hear Samus taking damage from those. Oh red. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I was not able to get in the hole in time. Almost there. Okay, there we go. They are? Oh. 
I did not know that. Come on, bot. Come on, girl. Come on, whatever the heck. Well, you know you gotta do it. You know you gotta do it. Ah, oh, Metroid Prime Prime. The floating brain. Core essence of Metroid Prime. Scan indicates that the phase on energy form of Metroid Prime is invulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a phase on fueled arm cannon will damage it. Generates pools of phase on when it attacks. Use these to fuel your suit's phase on weapon system. I have that? The entity can also spawn Metroids to assist them in battle, rendering itself invisible when it does so. Give me some heal. You also get the phase on beam. Oh, I didn't know that. Hyper mode. Okay, still invisible. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, is it like on top of me? I can hear dorks, but I can't see dorks. Coming from this way. Oh, it's you gotta use this. I didn't know you had to switch. But I guess that makes sense, you know, final exam boss and everything. Ow, I, the problem with the sidestep is sometimes I try to jump and it just doesn't work. And I sidestep instead. That's a bit of a problem. Yes, please die. Oh, dropping frames, that's cool. Ow, misunderstood. Yeah, it's usually not so bad. It's just like, oh, the frame rate sucks for a second. But you know, what if Samus had like a bug's head? Stop that. Oh, 
Okay. I didn't see it. Phase on beam looks super dope, though. That it does, man. That it does. I also have 10 missiles, so I got. Probably won't do me any good, but. I mean, maybe against the Metroid. Okay, did it disappear? Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Wait, wait. I saw it. I mean, I understand why they have it where you swap vision modes. You know, they want it to feel like the culmination. Like, the other one was testing all your beams. This is testing your vision. I mean, I'm not saying that makes it fun, but I understand what they're going for, at least. a little easier than Ridley uh, upon replay. I will say that much. But maybe that's just because I know exactly what to do. Like, I remember the first time it took me a minute to figure out what this fight was all about. How about you don't spawn fiz Fission Metroid? Yes! Oh no, oh no! Oh no, it's, I got grabbed by the ghoulies. <laughs> they get one-shotted by the Phazon beam? Oh, that's good to know, because I was like, oh god, I hope I don't run out of power bombs. C crater collapse imminent. Evacuate immediately. Oh, okay, well, they don't make me do it. <laughs> I mean, this is a Metroid game. They might have made me do it. I forgot. <laughs> oh, she got the Phazon suit peeled off? I guess that makes sense, though. Ah, uh, yes, there she is. Looks a little different than she would later look. Honestly, I kind of like this look for Samus. I think it fits. I mean, I've never been, like, hugely crazy about the Zero suit. But that's <laughs> that's also because I never like very over-the-top sex appeal. And one thing I always kind of like about Metroid is that... I mean, I don't know. They always did have that bit at the end. But I felt like it was a bit subtler than that. I don't know. Rest in peace, Mr. Awada. Yeah, so for Retro Studios, like, first, I think, first released product, pretty darn good. They, they pulled it off. They did, they, they did it. They made 
first person Metroid work, I think. And I, I know that the, these streams haven't been everybody's cup of tea. I, I know that some people haven't been super interested like they would with some other games, but I, I, I think at least some of us still had fun. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's a good game, and I, I will end up... I will end up uh, playing the others at some point. I want to do that. I want to I want to stream like blind play through a Prime 4 when that comes out, and I want to have gotten through the others on stream before I do that. I'm sure it's basically just Super Metroid, but in 3D, but to do that. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like if anybody dismisses it on those grounds, I feel like it's kind of ignoring <laughs> how big of a feat uh, Super Metroid in 3D is. Like, it took it took Mario until like the 3DS to have uh, like Super Mario Brothers 3 in 3D. Nintendo didn't even bother with 64. Not to say that like that was the wrong decision. That was very much the right decision. And I feel like. You know, I feel like it resulted in a more interesting game. Honestly, Echoes is probably my favorite out of the trilogy, soon to be quadrilogy. I I think I re now I'll have to see how it holds up when I stream it. But I remember it kind of being less rough around the edges than Prime One. Because Prime 1 has, like, the Chozo ghosts that constantly ambush you. You know, all that kind of thing. Other stuff that I mentioned during the stream but I've now forgot about. That, and I feel like, uh, yeah, like you say, there's, there's a bit more... It, it gets a little bit more wild. It becomes a bit more of its own thing. And I, I don't want to spoil for anyone who hasn't seen it. But, uh, you know, they, they introduce some new items and it's pretty cool. Eighty-four percent complete. Not bad. Hyper mode di difficulty active. Yeah. Do it. Maybe at some point I'll do like hyper mode, but I doubt it. So we did it. We finally beat Amogus. Uh, that only took about an hour. I don't know. I could probably do something else, but I feel like it's just it's a, it's just two people here and one active chatter, so maybe the effort would be wasted right now. I mean, no offense, of course. But yeah, at some point, probably sometime next year, I'll, I'll do I'll do Echoes, and Echoes also has multiplayer. I'll have to see at some point, after I finish the main game, I'll have to see at some point, like, if somebody will play that with me. Because I would like to show that off. I've never actually played Echoes multiplayer, just haven't had anybody to do it with, but... Netplay and Dolphin is pretty good, so... I feel like I can make it work. Maybe even... You! <laughs> But I mean, as the local Prime guy, you would be a you would be a good pick for it. So I mean, let me know if you're ever up for that. But but a after after I beat like single player Echoes, of course, sometime next year probably. I mean, how many players does it let you have? I don't know. But either way, uh, I'm up to four. Good, good. But either way, uh, in October, I'll probably stream uh, Dread Blind. I know that some people are going to be play it, playing it themselves, and they're not going to really be interested in me watch, in watching me stream it. And that's fair. I, under, I totally get it. 
I would do the same thing. But I feel like it, it would be interesting to record like my live reactions because, you know, I'm never, you know, it's like who, who knows when the next time we're going to get a new 2D Metroid is. I feel like, you know, that's an opportunity I don't really want to waste. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, thanks for thanks for showing up, and thanks for everybody who's been watching Prime. Uh, if you end up watching this later, and I'll see you. Later.